Hello, 3D Butcher Maniac here, and today, um, uh, it's, uh, some, uh, YouTuber or something, uh, created a, um, chemistry, sort of, modeling, add a modeling kit, I don't know, um, Kickstarter's a fun place, it's also a risky place, so, uh, but I decided that it was kind of cool, so I decided that I would, uh, fund, or fund them for a set of snatums. Um, now the maker is um, not set on the box. Um, basically what's on the box is it's snatums, standard kit. There's a bunch of different kits. Um, there's some with more um, some with more uh, atoms and uh, some with more elements. Some that are smaller, some that are uh, a little bit bigger. Um, since I am not willing to spend too much money and uh, get too crazy with Kickstarters. Uh, I decided to just get the standard kit. And so basically if you uh, flip it over, on the back it just sell, it says how, mu how many um, little thing by the, uh, thing by the uh, creator and, uh, and a little thing on how many uh, atoms, uh, how many uh, atoms you have to work with. So basically, um, what you get is when you uh, open the box, you are immediately presented with um, the uh, little uh, atoms. Um, basically, the white ones are hydrogen, the blue ones are, I believe, nitrogen, black is um, carbon, and the red ones are oxygen. So basically, all it is is a tray, a plastic tray, nothing needs to be special. Um, so basically, I mean, it's a kit, right? So it's supposed to be, you're supposed to take, I mean, let's say two hydrogen atoms, take an oxygen atom, snap them on, boom, we get water. Now, I would like to say, um, the ma these are uh, basically uh, connected by magnets, which um, the creator uh, specifically em um, em emphasizes that it's supposed to make it um, more accurate uh, an, uh, an atomic um, an atomic bond rather than using sticks because um, uh, some stuff about uh, chemistry and how bonds don't store energy and stuff like that but uh, basically uh, by making it uh, flat bonds and by making using magnets you can sort of sort of visualize um, through uh, feeling and through sight how bonds are sort of created and how um, oopsie daisy, how energy is released in bonding and that noise and sort of feeling of how bonds take place in chemistry. Um, and that's all well and good, but, um, uh, some things I would like to point out is that, um, uh, connecting, uh, like, basically to oxygen atoms, it's sort of satisfying. I, I mean, it's satisfying just, cr like, put this kind of stuff together and, uh, oopsie daisy. Uh, put the stuff together, you know, stick things together, and sort of just, uh, there we go, hydrogen peroxide, or hydrogen, uh, yeah, hydrogen peroxide, um, yeah, but the magnets aren't as strong as I'd like, uh, there, there's a big tendency to, uh, fall apart easily, like, um, uh, I, I mean, I would prefer that they were a bit stronger, um, uh, even if you're making, like, some sort of, like, big atoms where, I mean, where things are getting complicated, like, um, you know, like, if you're, ma you're making, I mean, you're spending a bunch of time on this and you're starting to make something look nice and, and, uh, ooh, it's getting bigger and bigger and then, and then, you know, I mean, it looks nice, it's a, and, and then even if you drop it, I mean, oh, see, there we go, I mean, you, it falls apart, I think, too easily, I mean, for something that should be a bit more rugged, I mean, uh, I feel like even these ones would be, like, like a target for kids, I mean, they break, I, I think they fall apart too easily, right, like, I'm not even putting any pressure, I mean, Considering that they are magnets, I feel like they could have been a bit more stronger Just so that they're not like flopping around and like not like getting crushed in my hands. I Mean, I, I don't want them to be like 
uh, impossible to take off, but I feel like it would be a bit more appreciated if they were a bit more, like, harder to take out and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, because especially these ones, I mean, they're pretty big. I mean, I don't know if they're, a, I don't even know if they're a choking hazard. Um, for little kids, I mean, I guess they could be. But, like, for, like, little babies. But, I, I mean, I'm talking about, like, four-year-olds who are playing with this. I mean, they're not adults. They're not careful with this kind of stuff. So, I'm sure that if you were to make them a bit more stronger, like, stronger bonds, I feel like that would be a little bit better. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's something about just how the magnets are working. Another thing about, um... Another thing about this is that, um, I mean, the standard kit, I feel like, um, it only comes with four different elements. Um, then again, it does come with the most, some of the most important elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. But there's still only a limited amount of atoms you can make. I mean, there's no sulfur, there's no, I mean, uh... There's no sulfur, there's no, um, iron, there's no, um, I mean, there's, there's no gold, I mean, there's no, there's no alumin aluminum, I mean, it, it's a very limited set of, um, it's a li very limited set of atoms, and, I mean, I'm sure this is the standard kit, but I would like to see even the standard kit have even two more, uh, elements, because, it's still, what happens is it still sort of limit, limits how, how many atoms you can do. Because if you want to make crazier and crazier atoms, you're going to need crazier and crazier amounts of, um, crazier and crazier molecules. You're going to need crazier and crazier amounts of uh, atoms, individual atoms. And so what I believe is that instead of basic, in, either, either basically add more elements or add more, add more, um, Amounts of uh, higher amounts of these, um, and I would I would like to say something about the uh, pictures. Um, if you look at the picture on the box, basically what happens is um, it seems very glossy and like more professional on the box, whereas in person they seem like plasticky and like kind of childish ish. I mean, I would, I would, I would like to have seen a better uh, representation of the um, uh, real life snatums on the box, because I mean, even on the back, these are they look so nice and glossy, whereas what you get is so kind of like it's not even, it's not glossy. It's sort of like it absorbs all the light and it looks kind of like it looks like a toy. So, um, I would have liked to seen maybe even, like, even glossier plastic at all. Um, but, um, uh, I, I guess, I guess those are, like, the little things. All in all, it's a nice product. It's a fun thing to do. I mean, give this to a kid and, I mean, they'll have so much fun, right? You can have them, you know, take this and do this and, oh, look, I made water. Or, um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, look, I made methane. Or, um, right. It's it's a nice product for kids, I'm sure. I'm sure it's like a, it's, 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 it's such a good, um, it's such a good product that I, I almost had to nitpick on those, uh, little critiques. But, um, I, I feel like, I mean, this kind of product needs to take a long time to develop. And I believe it, it could have been a bit better, um, just with, like, the magnet strength. I feel like they're a little too, I feel like a little too loose. I mean, especially when you start getting, like, many, many atoms. I mean, it starts to get heavy, too. You see, it just breaks so easily. I mean, like, I mean, I, I mean, if you're going to make crazy amounts of models, I feel like they would be a bit stronger, but, um, uh, anywho, that's just, um, that's just the Intermaniac talking, um, but, uh, yeah, that's, um, but, I mean, basically, yeah, that's what I, uh, think that, um, 
I mean, I also believe that, like, just two nitrogen atoms, uh, might be a little much much. Maybe four would have been better for the standard kit, um, that, that might just be me, but, um, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice little kit for maybe kids or for school, um, you know, I, I, it's a, it's a good product. So, uh, uh, basically, I thought I had to give a rating to Snatums. Uh, uh, one is, like, why back it? Why, why think of backing it? Why think of making it? And, uh, ten being, oh, come on, definitely, definitely back, definitely fund. I would get Snatums a solid, a solid 8.5. Um, it delivers on many of the things that, uh, the creator wanted to, to, to um, uh, deliver on basically uh, creating a more accurate uh, depiction of how atoms work and how bonds work and how the uh, energy is stored and stuff. Uh, definitely better than those ball and stick models you usually see. But also those little those little things like the uh, magnet strength, um, the uh, basically sort of kind of uh, bad depiction of. Uh, kind of like the bad depiction of the things and the sort of kind of lack of sort of atoms in just the basic kit I mean sure you can make water and you can make I mean you can make glucose and like those things but I mean I feel like I feel like it could use a few more atoms so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed my review of uh, Snatums uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this review and uh, see you next time